Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on Computer Networks Lab. Today's topic of discussion is on NIC, Network Interface Card. So this card is very much essential to connect a device to the network. It is attached to a computer or server or any device. I have just made one diagram here, though it may not be exactly the same kind that is available in the textbooks. But if at all you want to say what exactly is a network interface card, you can remember like this. It is a hardware component without which a computer cannot be connected over a network. It is a circuit card or a chip kind, okay, or a chip. So here the network interface card is placed inside the computer, but outside you will be able to see a slot like this, a port like this. And this is the port wherein you are going to use the cable called as RJ45. Now this one end of the cable will be placed here in this Ethernet port and the other end is connected to where? The other end is connected to the network. Now this network, when I say the other end of the RJ45 cable is connected to a network, what kind of network it is? Now that network can be a very huge network or it can be a local area network. Okay, these two possibilities are there. If at all you are connecting to a huge network and you want internet connection, then you are going to use what the other end of the cable will be connected to the router because you require the internet connection. Whereas if it is a local area network, you just wanted to communicate with the devices present in a network local area, then you will be connecting the other end of the cable to the switch. So this way, this particular RJ45 cable is used and it will be connected to the port that is the RJ45 Ethernet port. So this Ethernet port is internally what? It is connected to a circuit board or chip which is called as what? NIC, Network Interface Card. So on this card will be printed what? A unique number and this number is called as the Media Access Control Address, in short MAC address. Also it is called as Physical Address. So that address will be printed on the network interface card. Network interface card are of two types. One is called as the Ethernet card and the other one is the Wi-Fi card. If you want to connect your device to a network through wired, then your Ethernet card is needed. If you want to connect your device to a wireless network, then Wi-Fi card is needed. So in these two cards are existing nowadays because for us now, in for our device, we sometimes use a wireless connection and sometimes use the wired connection. So let us see how this MAC address will be print, uh, appearing in our device. One thing you have to remember is the MAC address in the above two will be different. Above two cases is what? One is the wired and another is the wireless. Since nowadays our devices are meant for both the types of connections, wired and wireless. So we are having in our device also the two MAC addresses printed. One will be for the wired and the other will be. Just while preparing this lecture, I wanted to check uh, the MAC address printed, the MAC address that is there for my printer, which I am using at home. So when I check there, I found that there are two MAC addresses available for my printer. One is this MAC address, you can look here, fine, it is available in this manner. This MAC address is for the wired connection, whereas this one is for the Wi-Fi connection. Many a times I am using my printer using Wi-Fi. So this is the MAC address here for the Wi-Fi. For the wire, this is the MAC address. So that is why for any device nowadays, we are having two MAC addresses. And how many bits are used to represent the MAC address? 48 bits. See, 48 bits are used to represent this. So here if you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 numbers are there. And each number is of what? Each number is of 4 bits. So 12 into 4, because this MAC address is printed in the hexadecimal, 12 into 4 is how much? 48 bits are used to represent the MAC address. And this address is given by the manufacturer of the device. So by any means, you cannot change the MAC address of your device. It is like given by the manufacturer and it will be a unique address. Now, how do you check the MAC address of any device? Go to the command prompt and then type this command ipconfig. How will you type? You have to write down. This is the command ipconfig leave some space, put slash and write down all. When you type this command at the command prompt, you are going to get details of your IP, uh, the IP address if at all you are having an internet connection and as well you will get the information about the MAC addresses. One which is for the wired connection and another which is for the wireless connection. All new computers have the network interface card built directly into the motherboard. 
In simpler words, it is a circuit board installed in a computer that provide a dedicated network connection to the computer. It is also known as network adapter. So the other name for the network interface card is what? It is a network adapter. So these points already I have covered in my explanation. A network interface card is not only the only component that is required to connect to the internet. If your device is a part of a large network, you wish to connect to the internet, then a router is required. Whenever you want to connect it to the internet, that means, now if, suppose if this is your PC, okay, from that PC, this port is there, no, Ethernet port. Now you are connecting it to the router if you want to have internet. If you wish to connect your device to a LAN, then a switch is sufficient for you. So that means now from the port, Ethernet port, what is that you are doing? You are connecting it to the switch because you just want to communicate with the devices in the smaller network, local area network. So NIC is both a physical layer and data link layer device. The tab which I am using here right now, let me check the MAC address for this tab. So for that, I have to go to, hope uh, you are able to watch the screen, go to the settings. Then there I will just scroll down this side. At the end I will get an option called as about tablet. Click to this and then click to status information. Find this MAC address is available here. 80 colon 39 colon 8 C colon 18 colon E4 EC. So this is the MAC address that is available here for my device. And you can see the Ethernet MAC address it is unavailable. So this is how you can check your, the MAC address for any of your device. Go to settings. There it will be mentioned like this about tablet, about phone. Click to that and under that you have to click to status. I hope you find this session useful. If you find it useful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye and take care.